In this video, I'm going to provide an overview of the dashboard available for BCM profile users. So as you can see, when you log into the Open Pages platform, you gain access to the dashboard as a BCM profile user. And I will go through the different panels that are available on the dashboard out of the box. Then after that, I'll explain how you can modify these panels or hide them as needed. And then after that, I will uh, show how an administrator can go in and create additional um, panels for their users or modify the existing out-of-the-box panels. So to start out, you we'll start out with the BC Test Plans panel right here, which is a Gantt chart that shows the start and end date of all test plans that I'm the owner of. If I click on one of these selections, it'll take me to the task view for that record. We have a search capability that enables a user to search for items within open pages. And it's configurable so that you can select certain types that will be certain object types that users can have access to. So if I put in the word payroll processing, here you can see that I have the business continuity plan for payroll processing. Um, we also have a profile for BCM end users where these other panels aren't available except for favorites and search and the end user can search for um, policies, procedures, or business continuity plans meeting the search criteria. We have a guidance panel here that provides access to external links. This My Favorites panel is used to uh, list favorites that you've identified. So if I go to um, this search and find, let's pick a process, manage database. So if I click this star icon here on the task view, that will then make this a favorite, and that favorite will then become available here. And you can change the information that appears in this panel. Uh, next uh, are some donut charts. So here we have business continuity plans by status, business continuity events by type, business impact analyses by status, my tasks. So if you have a task assigned to you as a user in a workflow, then you can access the top five tasks by due date here. If I click on this, it'll take me to the task view within the workflow. I can also ask, uh, access tasks up here on these uh, tabs. So here are my tasks, uh, subscription tasks, and as you can see, these can be filtered by type. So if I want just continuity plan, it'll give me that. Impact analysis, it'll display that information. You can also filter by stage, workflow name, criticality. Um, and then if you have a listing here, you can sort on this screen down here. And then oversight tasks. So oversight tasks are when the user is identified as an overseer of a workflow. And then subscription tasks, I don't think I said this previously, a subscriber is someone who's been identified as a subscriber to a stage in a workflow. So those are the tasks. Here we have a bar graph of um, employees based on different types of locations. And then this panel here is um, a way to create these objects right from the dashboard instead of having to uh, go to the grid view to access the add new button. So here you can see this kind of event, I can add that right from the dashboard. So a user, uh, whether or not they're an administrator or not, can uh, modify this screen as they like. They can move the panels around, expand. Um, if they don't want to see a particular panel on their screen, they can go here. So if I want to remove the guidance, I can just click on this icon. It'll remove the guidance for me. The other thing you can do as a user is you can add your own panels. So let's say I would like to add a chart. And I'm going to call this BIA by MAO. And this is for a business impact analysis. So I select that object type. If I have a filter in place, I can add a filter and I want to show a horizontal bar and based on maximum acceptable outage, we're gonna do a count for each. So I hit done. Here you can see I have 
a bar graph of the different BIAs by maximum acceptable outage. I have one of each. So that's available uh, for users um, so that they can add their own panels. And if you want to remove your panel, you can just remove it like that, and then it's gone. Now, if you're a administrator, then you can set the dashboards for profiles. So if I go to dashboard, BCM master user, profile, then they have access to change all of these panels. They can remove instead of just hiding, and they can modify them uh, as they need to. Uh, the other thing that I want to show is the end user profile. So a BCM end user is given is given this dashboard where they can search for business continuity plans and policies and procedures from here and give them read-only access. And then they can favorite those here as well since the BCM end user is not intended to be used for users that can edit or have access to those workflows. So with that, I think you should have a good starting point for using the dashboard. Uh, to get a better understanding, I suggest adding panels on your own and testing and seeing the capabilities of the dashboard yourself. Thank you.